بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود آئلس ریڈنگ ماڈیول اینڈ آئلس ریڈنگ از ون آف دا ماڈیولس وچ از ویری کنفیوزنگ جسٹ ٹوڈے آئی ریسیو دا ریزلٹ آف اے سبسکرائبر آن مائی یوٹیوب چینل اینڈ ہی گاٹ تھری بینڈ ان ریڈنگ اوکے دیٹ از الارمنگ اے نائٹ میئر آئی ول شیئر دیٹ ریزلٹ ود یو سو دیٹ یو نو ہاؤ ہاریبل اٹ کین بی سو دیٹ از وائی Don't run away from reading. Try to face reading and solve at least a couple of tests a day with good understanding. And I'll tell you what a good understanding is. Okay? So reading is the module that may cheat you at the end. For example, if your target is 6 each, reading will give you 5, 5.5 and you cannot apply EOR on reading. So that is why, for example, your target is seven. I've noticed one thing. Whenever you have a target, six band, seven band, eight, triple seven, whatever, it's the reading module that often cheats you. So you need to pay more attention to reading and try to solve the test. And through practice, if you solve a couple of tests a day, after 30 days, you will be in a position to understand what IELTS reading is. I have solved Cambridge IELTS books uh, 9 to 17 all reading tests and now i understand what ielts reading is and all that okay so as you solve the test with understanding not without understanding then you will see what it takes and all that okay so anyways let's start today we are going to solve one reading test and this reading test is from general training sometimes academic ielts candidates find it extremely hard to understand academic reading after first passage when they reach second passage third passage they stop understanding anything and then they do the guesswork and with guesswork they have 13 correct answers 14 correct answers out of 40 so it's a good idea if you find academic reading extremely difficult solve general training reading tests because general training reading in terms of passages it is easier than academic so if you solve five six general training reading test and then you go to academic you will be more comfortable you will have good understanding and all that right okay so whenever you start reading first you need to read the title of the passage what's the title here good Good. Map showing walk starting from Bingham Town Hall. Now, Bingham Town Hall is the name of town hall, and there is a map which is showing the walks, and the walks will start from there. So it means this passage is all about some maps. After reading the title, if there is any subtitle of the passage, you should read that as well, and then you will come to the questions. Questions one to five. What is that? Which paragraph? mentions the following it means which paragraph contains the following information which paragraph mentions the following so listen now whenever you deal with questions in ielts reading there are two type of questions type 1 where questions and answers are in order and you have to read one or two sentences to find the answer i call it type a questions then we have type b questions for type b questions you have to skim read the passage or you have to scan all the passage there are only two question types which are type b and for type b questions questions and answers are not in order the first example is list of headings list of headings is type b and you have to skim read the passage luckily today in our reading test we have list of headings so we will do that so you have to skim read the passage right second is which paragraph contains the following information for that you have to scan the passage scan means you are looking for specific information and you are moving around the passage when you scan you don't read you are only searching like you know uh, if you are in a big supermarket and you're looking for your favorite chocolate so you're just first you'll go to chocolate section then you will see different brands and all that and then finally you will find your favorite chocolate same as here uh, you need to scan the whole passage with a couple of words in mind and all that but practically i'll show you all these things okay don't worry so now we start 
we have paragraph a and we know it's about the map of walk and all that uh skim reading the first thing is whenever you read for actual exam you have to read in your heart you have to read in your heart understand you will not do any lip saying or any uh, whispering or anything like that your mouth is going to be shut when you are reading otherwise invigilators will interrupt you and they will say Shh, not make any noise and all that okay so be careful now let's start we've got this paragraph a when you skim read remember one thing always use pencil to read because when you move pencil while reading your reading speed is going to be doubled okay for example if you read without a pencil and you read with pencil you can just try read something without moving the pencil your reading speed is not going to be very fast but when you move pencil along with the text your eyes will follow the pencil and the pencil is going to be faster and you will read it better right so you need to read you can use pencil it's not that you underline everything but you can just use the pencil as you are reading okay we've got paragraph a now what is skim reading skim reading is a quick reading where you read to find the gist of something for example you come into your garage and you are leaving for your office or you're leaving for your university and you're getting late and suddenly you find newspaper there now you've got a couple of minutes you pick up the newspaper <laughs> you read some basic headlines right again headlines and then you put it back now you know the current news of the day but if you've got more time then with a cup of tea you read everything so that is what we call reading in detail and otherwise we call it skimming skimming means to read just to find the gist and when you skim you skip when you skim you skip for example you read a line next line is related to the same line you skip it you read a line and they have given the name of the university and the city and the, all that stuff you skip that so when you skim you skip some information you read some information you skip some you read some and then you formulate an idea it's not necessary that you read everything when you are skimming and when you are scanning you are not reading at all you're looking for some words i'll show you all these things practically don't worry okay now please come to paragraph a Walk described in this uh, leaflet takes you to one of the many places in the district where bricks were made. Underline bricks were made for hundreds of years until it was closed in the late 18th century. Underline it was closed. Okay, <laughs> now that place where bricks were made, it was closed. Uh, this brickwork is now the largest and best known nature reserve in the area. Underline largest. underline best known and nature reserve what is nature reserve where they reserve the nature for future use like you know botanical gardens where they have some species of plants we call it nature reserve in the area please note that the ground is very uneven and as you read i want you to switch on your imagination imagine some uneven ground uneven ground means like up and down and all that and under six is uh should not be taken on this walk under 6s what does it mean children below age of 6 should not be taken on this walk now you have underlined few points like bricks were made then it closed now it is the well known and largest nature reserve under 6s are not allowed these are the points which you have outlined through skimming after doing this and the best way to retain retention is very important the best way to retain is to imagine what you read if you imagine what you read it will be imprinted on your brain and it will stay there for some time at least for a couple of minutes right now please come to question number 1 chance to go into caves no not at all some questions you will read no some are not at all and all the and make a habit whenever you do ielts reading do not read a and the some these type of words okay because they waste time and in every sentence you will find these words like there are 7 to 900 words in each passage for academic reading okay so out of those 7 to 900 words around 100 plus words are these articles extra words a and the some and all that so if you avoid them you can have more time to read other words question number 2 
chance to spend time beside a lake. Now, one thing you guys have to do, although this question is not related to that paragraph, but it must fit somewhere. It's going to fit somewhere. That is why underline the word caves, underline the word beside a, cave, beside a lake, because you're going to use it somewhere. Do you understand? We are not reading the questions blindly and time management will come like this when you consider all the points. Question number three, unusual architecture. Did they talk about any unusual architecture? Not at all. Question number four, unsuitability for? Exactly. Why? Because they mentioned under sixes should not be taken. Now, should not be taken is unsuitability and under sixes is children. Is this clear? Now, in front of question number four, you will write A and you're going to cross number four. Why? You will not read it again. Again, good time management will come like this when you cross number four and you don't read it again. And number five, remember, one paragraph may contain one question. One paragraph may contain two questions. I've seen some long paragraphs. They contain even three questions. And I've seen some paragraphs which contain no question. So keep all these options in mind. Question number five, length of walk depending on? Now, have you noticed there are three articles? The length of the walk depend. Now, they put articles here so that they make the options long. They do it deliberately in multiple choice questions. Ah, uh, and the, they use it again and again so that the option is long and students read it. So if you develop a habit that you're not going to focus the article, you can do that. Like, you know, sometimes we ignore some people in our life. They are there, we ignore them, okay, yeah. So ignore article, right? Uh, now, listen, second time, when you read paragraph B, you have to keep in mind, question number one is about caves. Question number two is about besides a lake. Question number three is about unusual architecture. And question number five is about weather. See that we picked up one or two words. So if you pick up one to two words, it will be easier for you to retain these things. Now, we go on to paragraph B. This walk will take you to top of Burley Hill along a nice, easy path that people of all ages will be able to manage. Okay, from the summit, you can see for a great distance. Summit means the mountain. Great distance to the north and west across the landscape that includes half a dozen lakes. Now, listen, they say across a landscape that includes across a landscape is it beside no across a landscape you can see half a dozen lakes and the entrance of butter caves now what is the option for caves chance to and what do they say and the entrance of butter caves let's go on bear in mind though the mist often comes in from the sea and covers the hilltop okay now, listen, we've got two confusing things. One is about lake. So why isn't it the right answer? Because they did not mention chance to go inside the lake. Second, we've got another confusing point that is lake. Uh, sorry, that is about, yeah, first, uh, uh, okay, let's talk about caves. So for caves, they said, Half a dozen lakes and the entrance. What do they say before that? From the summit, you can see. Where are you? On the summit. Like if I say from Minare, Pakistan, you can see the caves. Now, will you get a chance to enter the caves? No. If I say from Minare, Pakistan, you can, say the, you can see the lake. So is it beside the lake or anything like that? No. You can just see that, right? So option A, question number one. And question number two, they are wrong options here. Bear in mind, though, that mist often comes in from the sea and covers the hilltop. Now, which question matches with it? There is no question that matches. And uh, many intelligent students will actually destroy two questions here. They'll say, lake, lake, good. Okay, <laughs> then they say, caves, caves, good. <laughs> two solid questions will be, Wasted. So be careful. They always give, you know now, they give you traps. In listening, in reading, they always give you traps. Now, let's go on. Question number, uh, paragraph C. This route leads through the village of uh, Cotesol. Uh, sorry, uh, Cotesolo. 
which was created in 1930s and is famous for its strange looking houses unique architecture ielts reading is the game of synonyms paraphrasing rewording strange looking houses and ceramics factory so what is for that some unusual architecture question number 3 and have you noticed one thing because we had question in mind that's why we found the answer so retention is very important the best way to retain is to visualize to imagine okay so what is the answer for question number 3 C and you are going to cross number three from the option. Now let's go on. It's a long paragraph. I'm reading from third line. An artificial lake was originally created beside the village. What's the question? The chance to spend time beside a lake, but they are saying beside a village. But if you are in a village, then it can be the right answer. Let's see. beside a village and has since been filled in uh, and turned into adventure playground where is the lake now turned into adventure playground so this is not the answer after you leave kori uh, slow uh, one advice i would give you the words which are difficult to pronounce don't worry about that i mean the good thing is you can just read the first syllable for example this word kori uh, slow you can read it as kot the names of places the names of cities countries and all that names of people just read the first syllable syllable is the first part of that word right let's go on you have a choice of routes to return to the starting point so either continue via thurley park or if it's raining take the shorter direct route if it's raining what is that weather condition so length of walk depending on the now what is the word for length of walk take the shorter direct route and what is the word for weather yeah and what is the word for depending on the weather depending on the weather for that they have used the word if it's raining for depending they've used the word if got it so whenever you do reading match the question with the passage like this match the wording of the question with the wording in the passage then you will learn and improve otherwise blindly you will say okay yeah let's go on okay so how many questions have we done so far 3 very good now let's go on paragraph d which questions are left 1 and 2 and you can at this point it's a good idea to refresh the questions question number 1 is about caves going into the caves and question number 2 is about beside a lake okay paragraph d this walk is ideal in fine weather as it takes you to the shore of a lake shore of a lake shore means kinara shore of a lake means beside a lake got it now the word for shore of a lake beside a lake question number 1 answer is sorry question number 2 answer is d what is left how many paragraphs are left one. one blindly you can do that if you have done it successfully or otherwise caves and lake uh, you just miss them there then you'll not be able to do it okay so uh, paragraph e if you want an easy under under uh, sorry un demanding walk over flat ground this walk will suit you perfectly it passes the entrance to the famous butter caves it passes the entrance it passes the entrance means yeah chance to go into cave so question number 1 answer is got it e e for elephant ab mainu kyon ghoor ke vekhna question nu vekhna <laughs> okay is this all clear yeah. now listen whenever you do ielts reading you have any wrong question you need to do this with that uh, which sentence contains the answer location of answer two things are important for success in ielts reading number one location of the answer number two explanation now what is explanation for example question number 4 answer is unusual architecture 
Now, what is explanation? In paragraph C, they have mentioned strange looking houses. So strange looking houses, that is equal to unusual architecture. That is why this is the answer. This is what I call explanation. If you read uh, the location and then you find out explanation, then you are going to improve. And if you're doing reading after reading after reading without explanation, you're wasting your time. Okay, thank you. Okay guys, now is your chance to learn about true, false, not a given. Okay, very good. True, false, not given. And luckily we have many questions. So if you don't understand true, false given today, you will understand it later. Don't worry, I'm here to teach you more, okay? All right, listen. In true, false, not given, when you read the question, in the question, there is a word, or sometimes there is a phrase. And you have to check that word or phrase. If the information given is similar, answer is true. If the information given is opposite, answer is false. And if there is no piece of information on that word or that phrase, then the answer is not given. So whenever you practice true, false, not given questions, you need to identify this is the word or this is the phrase I have to check, right? How to do that? I tell you now. What's the title? Yeah, Meeple Hampton, Scarecrow competition, a great success. Now, how many of you know what a scarecrow is? In the villages, they have a statue, a human character, to scare the birds, exactly. So we call it Scarecrow. You might have seen Scarecrow in some horror movies as well, right? So uh, <coughs> competition about Scarecrow, a great success. After reading this, now see the question type is true, false, not given. And luckily, true, false, not given, they are type A questions. Type A means questions. And the answers in the passage, they are in order. Whether it is academic IELTS or general training IELTS, tips are same, question type is same, only passages, the nature of the passages, that is different. Otherwise, everything is same. And marking criteria, of course. Question number six, traditionally. Now, when they use the word traditionally, it means commonly, usually, as a practice. Most scarecrows were same size as human being. Now look here. Underline the word most scarecrows. Underline the word same size. Underline human being. Okay. So if traditionally more scarecrows were the same size like human. Means the human size. Five feet, six feet. Then the answer is true. If most of them were bigger or smaller than human size. Then the answer is. And if they don't tell us whether most or minor or majority or minority, whether they were bigger or smaller, then the answer is not given. And in true, false, not given, the words like most, these words are very important, right? Now let's go back, first paragraph. There was once a time when farmers all over the country put scarecrows in fields of growing crops. A traditional scarecrow was a model, usually life size of a man or Women dressed in old clothes. So usually, now they say a traditional scarecrow was a model. Usually life size. Usually life size. What is the word for usually? Most. Most scarecrows and usually. And what is the word for life size? Same size as human being. Life size, same size as human being. And again, I'm telling you, whenever you do reading, you need to find these synonyms. What is in the passage? What is in the question? And then you are learning and you are improving. So what is the answer? Well done. All clear? Good. See now, this understanding will help you in academic reading. Because in academic reading, usually we don't have these simplified things. Right? Okay, but don't worry. Next week we are solving gen academic reading tests. So don't worry. Question number seven. Uh, the mic is gone from there. Question number seven. Competition in September, underline competition, underline September, was the first one. Very important word, first one. Now, competition in September was first one in that area. Now, listen. If the competition was first one, answer is true. If it was second, third, or last one, answer is 
and if they don't tell us whether it was first second third not given got it now see one word is going to decide okay let's go on uh, maple hampton scarecrow's competition took place on september 12th local farmers supplied everything needed to make a scarecrow have they mentioned whether it was first one second and one more thing for not given it's not that out of frustration you read a lot if you read more than necessary in ielts reading you are confusing your mind and at the end you will find a wrong answer so just one line is enough to read and what is that maple hampton scarecrow competition took place on september 12th have they mentioned whether it was first second third last so it is not given got it and mostly for true false not given there is only one sentence in the passage which will decide the answer you don't have to read a paragraph and then decide what is the answer and all that and i'm sure if i give you 40 questions for example from reading i give you 40 questions and 40 sentences to find the answers you will find the answers easily but locating those 40 sentences in the passage that needs practice and skill so that you could locate that okay all right question number 7 a uh, eight sorry eight is farmers who provided materials could take part in competition now look here farmers who provided material they could also take part now if farmers who gave material were allowed to take part answer is true if the farmers who provided material they were forbidden to participate then it is and if they don't tell us about the farmers who provided material whether they were allowed to take part or not then it is not so you should whenever you read the question divide it into three parts if this is the case answer is true if that is the case answer is false and if they don't tell this thing then the answer is not given now let's read about farmers who provide materials same paragraph okay uh, i'm reading it from there uh, Uh, local farmers supplied got it local farmers supplied everything needed to make a scarecrow like pieces of wood to form a frame and competitors brought with uh, sorry to form a frame and straw to suffer the scarecrow sorry to stuff the scarecrow scarecrows were dressed in old clothes which the competitors brought with them any mention farmers who provided the material were allowed or not so answer is well done do not given can make you frustrated do not given in one test first three answers were not given so now they they've got very nice uh, what do you say proportion of true false and not given question number 9 old clothes were supplied to the people who made scarecrows look here old clothes were supplied means they actually supplied them old clothes that here are the old clothes use them for making scarecrow or people had to bring their own old clothes for the scarecrow so can you come to the same paragraph yes. the scarecrows were dressed in old clothes which the competitors brought with them now one thing is they were supplied and one thing is competitors brought with them so what is the answer false Yes, yes, it is possible. Sometimes I solve one test in one paragraph. There were all five answers. It is possible, and I solved another test. Each paragraph contained one answer. Okay. Question number ten. Venue for competition. Have you noticed? I'm not reading article. Okay. Save your time. Don't read article. Venue for competition was changed because of weather. If they change the venue because of weather, answer is. true if whatever happened to the weather when you was same answer is false and if they don't tell us then not given now look for weather festival was held in village hall instead of outdoor as planned due to unusually high temperature now what is high temperature that is weather and what is venue of the competition changed see a uh, festival was held in the village hall instead of outdoors so they changed the venue for venue they used the word village hall and outdoors so the answer is okay that's good question number 
कंपेटिटर्स कुड गेट एडवाइस अंडरलाइन कंपेटिटर्स गेट एडवाइस ऑन मेकिंग देयर स्टेयर क्रो नाउ इफ एडवाइस वॉज अवेलेबल टू कंपेटिटर्स कंपेटिटर्स मीन्स पार्टिसिपेंट्स इफ एडवाइस वॉज अवेलेबल आंसर इज ट्रू इफ देर वॉज नो एडवाइस अवेलेबल दे हैड टू डू ऑन देयर ओन आंसर इज false and if they don't tell us whether advice was available or not then it is not given okay we've got the same paragraph over 20 teams found it yes over 20 teams took part each creating one scarecrow they were encouraged by an audience of around 50 and had ideas and guidance from local artist tracy sanzo advice was given who gave advice oh, yeah. local artist and the name of that artist so answer is true now have you noticed how they change the language of the passage and the language of question now for example in the question they said advice uh, competitors could get advice what is the word for that had ideas and guidance from get advice ideas and guidance from okay All right. Question number twelve. The judge's uh, opinion. Judge's opinion. Scarecrow's dressed as alien was better than the giant bird. Now listen. If in judge's opinion, scarecrow dressed as alien. Alien, you know, yeah, from another planet. So was better. Better means comparison. If the if the scarecrow that dressed as an alien was better than the giant bird. like they made a scarecrow of a giant bird if it was better answer is true if giant bird was better than alien opposite thing whenever they give you comparative sentence in true false not given they always give for example if i say village is better than city in the passage they say city is better than village answer is false, false. okay so you need to see comparison if one thing is better in the question and in the passage also a is better than b answer is true if in the question a is better than b in the passage b is better than a then the answer is false and if there is no comparison then not given and there will always be a couple of comparative questions now let's go back <laughs> and we see that bird and alien and all that found it it's the third last paragraph the scarecrows were judged by a team of people from the village now listen judged that is our key word the winning children's team made a scarecrow that looked like a giant bird which would surely keep every real bird away the winning adult team scarecrow was dressed as an alien from another planet and its face was painted to make it look very frightening at least to human beings they talked about bird giant bird they talked about alien but comparison is not given that is why answer is not given no why false they did not compare giant bird that it is better than alien or alien is better than giant bird they said children's team made alien adult team made this but there is no comparison and you know they talked about both things in two separate sentences okay so whenever you see better than more than less than superior than and all that it means comparison question number 13 competition organizers supplied a picnic now listen competition organizers supplied a picnic picnic means some sandwiches other eatables and all that if competition organizers supplied picnic for the competitors competitors and uh, spectators if they provide them picnic answer is true if they had to bring their own food then the answer is false and if they don't tell us the source of food whether they had to bring it on their own or the competition organizers supplied then it is not given last paragraph after the judging many of the participants and spectators had a picnic which they had brought they means they means spectators and participants right they had brought competition organizers supplied picnic no they had brought on their own so the answer is false well done all right now question number 14 ls cameron what is it it's the clue word whenever they use a name you can easily spot the name in the passage ls cameron bought a scarecrow to frighten birds away for, from her crops now if ls cameron bought means she paid the money 
to buy a scarecrow? Answer is true. If they gifted her, answer is false. And if they don't tell us whether she bought or she was gifted, then it is not given. Can you see Alice Cameron? Yes. I read from there. Alice Cameron, a local farmer, liked one of the scarecrows so much, she bought it to stand on her balcony. She bought it to stand on her balcony. Now, let's read the second part. Wait for it. They've mentioned two frightened birds away. Two frightened birds away. What do they say there? Alice Cameron, a local farmer, liked one of the scarecrows so much, she bought it to stand on her balcony. She said she didn't need it to scare birds away. It is false. If you check the first part, it sounds true. She bought it. But then the next point is, where did she use it? Okay, she didn't use it to frighten away the birds and all that. Okay? All right. Uh, Bismillah rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum. Let's take a start. Today, we are going to solve one reading test together. Uh, by the way, there's going to be a variety of questions in this test. So, you will get a chance to understand true, false, not given, sentence completion, and uh, there are many other questions like that. Uh, well, this test is gender training reading test. Uh, we are doing it on purpose. Sometimes some students don't understand academic reading at all. So when you don't understand reading at all, what to do? It's a good idea to start from general training reading. General training reading part one and part two, they are somewhat easier than academic reading. But remember one thing, uh, in general training reading and academic reading, question types are same. We don't have any difference in question type. For example, true, false, not given, yes, no, not given, multiple choice, list of headings, all the type of questions that we have in academic, we do have them in gender training. The only difference is the nature of passages. In academic reading, there are three long passages and these passages are about science, research, technology, and all that. On the other hand, in gender training reading, Part one, we have two short passages. Part two, we have two short passages. Part three, we have a long passage. So general training reading part three is same like academic reading. Only part one and part two, these two parts are different. Otherwise, part three is same. So today's reading is going to give you an opportunity to understand each and every question and the way answer is given. So how to do all that, this is what you need to focus, okay? And again, I tell you, if you have issues with academic reading, you don't understand it at all, it's a good idea f that from Cambridge IELTS books 11 to 16, you can solve four to eight gender training reading tests and then come to academic reading. You'll be more comfortable. You will understand things better and all that. And those who are gender training IELTS candidates, and their score is stuck at a certain level, they should solve academic reading tests. Because by solving academic reading tests, they are solving something more difficult than general training. So by comparison, after solving four academic reading tests, when you come back to general training reading, you will find it easier and your score will improve as well. So these two readings are same in terms of question type and they are different in terms of passage type, the type of passages we have. Now, let's see. Section one, what's the title? Five reviews of Wellington Hotel. So they have given us five reviews of Wellington Hotel and now come to questions one to seven. Look at the five online reviews of Wellington Hotel. Which review mentions the following? This is called matching. And we do have it in academic reading. Which paragraph contains the following information? Now, in order to do this one here, just try to understand. There is one thing we call it action plan. So on your handout, you can write this action plan in your own words. Uh, you can write just some code words and write this action plan. Step um, now, this is for gender training. Step one, skim read the passage or skim read the paragraph. Step number one, skim read the paragraph. Step number two, read the questions. Step number three, the question that you think matches with the paragraph, 
just write down the question uh, uh, paragraph number there and that is going to be the answer let's do it together please come and by the way in general training reading you have freedom to read everything because the texts are not very very long like academic in academic reading mainly you are going to do skim reading scanning and the portion of the passage where there is the answer whereas in gt reading you can read the whole thing now let's skim read paragraph a my husband and i first stayed at the wellington i'm reading paragraph a at the wellington a few weeks ago and we've returned every year since then underline we've returned every year since then what does it mean they are happy customers right they stayed in a hotel and now every year they're going to the same hotel when we arrive and check in we are always treated like old friends by the staff underline that when we arrive and check in you know they check in and they say oh mr yasin you've come again this year juices for him tea for him and a fruit basket and all that okay so it's like that and i want you to imagine you need to imagine my husband and i not your husband but you can just imagine a husband and a wife okay yeah exactly now uh next so we are very we very much feel at home our one disappointment during our last visit was that our room overlooked the car park but that didn't spoil our stay room overlooked the car park means कमरे से कार पार्किंग खिड़की से नजर आता था बट डेट इंट पॉइल अवर थिंग सो नाउ वी कीप ऑल दीज थिंग्स माइंड माइंड वीव रिटर्न एवरी ईयर दे ट्रीट अस लाइक ओल्ड फ्रेंड्स एंड नाउ वी कम टू द क्वेश्चन एंड वी विल रीड ऑल द क्वेश्चन एंड द राइट आंसर विल क्लिक यू इफ यू रिटेन देर इज वन थिंग वी कॉल इट रिटेंशन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन लाइकिंग द व्यू फ्रॉम द बेडरूम विंडो डिट दे लाइक दैट car park this is not that but you should underline liking the view now in another part they are going to talk about that in another review question number 2 finding the receptionists welcoming yeah, yeah. yes now where is it yeah it's when we arrive and check in we are always treated like old friends by the staff when we arrive arrive means receptionists are there and they are going to see them so uh finding the receptionists welcoming question number 2 answer is a. a now one thing you guys are going to do whenever you are doing it please cross two the number 2 cross it because we are not going to read it again one option will be used once only okay let's go on being pleased with the bedroom no it's not that but just underline being pleased being happy with the bedroom Question number four: Becoming confused when booking a room. Underline: Becoming confused booking a room. Question number five: Being impressed by the wide choice of food. In another review, they will talk about food and choice. Wide choice of food means sixty-five dishes. You know, like high tea people, they say, "Pani ki bhi char kisme lagai hoti hain." Khe thanda garam, neem garam, and they they just treat it as a dish. salads 10 types of salads yeah gobi ka salad and all that so that's be uh, uh, becoming confused when booking a room being impressed by the wide choice of food question number 6 staying in hotel regularly now what is that that is returned every year since then what does that mean every year since then means returning regularly so the second correct answer is question number 6 and question number 6 answer is a now please cross number 6 also because we will not read these two options again question number 7 finding it inconvenient that the hotel was crowded underline hotel was crowded now look here this time when you guys are going to read paragraph b you will consider the questions when you read paragraph a and you read the questions you are considering paragraph in mind now you will keep the questions in mind and you will read paragraph b let's read it together the hotel hardly seems to have changed in the last 100 years okay and we prefer that to many modern hotels which tend to look the same as each other the wellington has a character our room was very comfortable and quite spacious happy with the room pleased with the room our room was very comfortable and quite spacious which option exactly that is being pleased with the bedroom 
and what what have they mentioned our room was very comfortable and quite spacious spacious means khula khula dula kamra okay so it means being pleased so question number 3 answer is b now cross number 3 as well because we will not read these options again have you noticed now now questions are in mind and we are reading the passage first paragraph was in mind and we were reading the questions let's go on we can strongly recommend the breakfast though we had to wait for a table as the hotel was so full yes hotel was crowded hotel was so full question number 7 finding it inconvenient that the hotel was crowded and what is the word for crowded hotel was so full so full means crowded so question number 7 answer is b we cross question number 7 as well how many questions have we done four now let's go on paragraph c we made a reservation by phone without problem there is one question about confusing reservation and all that but when we arrived the receptionist couldn't see it on the computer system luckily there was a room available it wasn't quite what we could have chosen but it was a pleasure to sit in it with a cup of tea and look out at the swimmers and surfers in the sea from the room the view was surfers and swimmers in the sea means it overlooked the sea question number 1 liking the view from the bedroom window okay and how do you understand liking the view but it was a pleasure got it it was a pleasure to sit in it with a cup of tea and look out at the swimmers and surfers in the sea all right that's not good yeah you're looking at swimmers and surfers from your window in one paragraph there can be one answer in one paragraph there can be two answers even three answers and even one paragraph can be empty also the, uh, does this kind of application uh, happen in academic in academic also yes we do have this thing yeah all right so until now we are done with questions 1 2 3 6 and 7 paragraph d Now you're going to skim read it quickly. Let's go on. We'd uh, we'd be happy to stay at the Wellington again although there is nothing special about the rooms. The view from the lounge is lovely and the restaurant staff were friendly and efficient. Breakfast was a highlight. There was so much on offer we could hardly decide what to eat. Good. Question number Being impressed by the wide choice of food and they mentioned breakfast. was a highlight there was so much on offer we could hardly decide what to eat so question number 5 answer is d d for doctor okay we'd say another time just for that now how many questions are left one and how many paragraphs even you don't need to read the paragraph if you went on very well just write for question number 4 answer is e but anyways let's read it at this point either you can read the question and scan the passage or you can skim read the passage and then read the question what is the question becoming confused when booking a room the staff paragraph e the staff all did their jobs efficiently and were very helpful when we asked for information about the area the only difficulty we had was making our reservation online right it wasn't clear whether payment for our deposit went through or not and i had to call the hotel to find out got it question number 4 becoming confused when booking a room okay what was the confusion whether the payment payment was transferred or it wasn't transferred so then they had to call and all that so becoming confused and what is the word for that it wasn't clear whether payment for our deposit went through or not so they were confused about the payment whether it went through or not so for this e is the right answer is this all clear okay now you must be thinking gt guys have easy time academic guys have difficult time but if you understand these things then gradually gt will become easier for you as well okay thank you okay guys now we are going to learn true false not given uh, true false not given is another confusing question type students usually can't decide whether the answer is false or not given 
True false, yes, they can decide sometimes, but false and not given, then they make faces like that. So uh, yeah, absolutely. Now let's see. Whenever you read the question, the good news is in true false not given questions and answers are in order. order. Who said order? Order. Oh, all right. Yeah, in order. Uh, one thing. Second, within the sentence or within the question, there is a word or there is a phrase which will decide whether the answer should be true, false or not given. You have to match that sentence or that phrase and that is going to decide. Okay, so question number eight, walking football. Now, first read the title of the passage. Come and play walking football or walking netball. Wow, you don't need to run. You just have to walk and play football. Yeah, that's a good thing, walking football. Now, just imagine some old people, young people, they are walking and playing football and all that. Question number eight, walking football became well known when a club featured, underline club, we will find the answer together. Just read the question. We are not having any competition. Walking football became well known when a club featured in a TV program about the sport. Look here. If walking football became famous that a club featured it in a TV program, answer is true. If walking football became famous because of some other thing, not a club featured it in a TV commercial or TV program, then it is false. And if they don't tell us how did walking football become well known, they don't give us any information on that, answer is every time when you read true, false, not given, you need to ask yourself these three questions. If it is this, answer is true. If it is that, answer is False. And if it is neither this nor that, then the answer is not given. Yeah, good. Now, let's go back. Can you see TV and all that second paragraph? Club, TV. Everyone, please come to passage second paragraph. Walking football was invented in the UK in 2011, but it was a 2014 TV commercial for a bank. TV commercial for a bank, not a club featured in a TV program. It was a TV commercial for a bank showing it providing financial support to someone who wanted to set up a website. So the answer is absolutely false because they mentioned it. They said TV commercial for a bank. In the question, they say a club featured it in a TV program. So walking football became well known because of a TV commercial for a bank, not because of a club featured in TV program. That is why the answer is false. Got it? Got the concept? They told us how it became famous, but the reason was different. First, you correct your tense. I didn't get. I didn't got is not right. Okay, now what's the point? Yeah, listen, the thing is that commercial for a bank, you know commercial, ad, advertisement for a bank, it's that, okay? Question number nine, majority, whenever in true, false, not given, they use the word majority, most of, minority, less, more, there's going to be something comparative. Majority of walking netball players are men. Now look here. If most of them, netball is the, is the word. If most of them are men, answer is true. If most of them are women, answer is false. If most of them, they don't mention whether they are men or women, then not given. Okay, now let's go back, walking netball. Same paragraph. Please follow me from third last line. Second paragraph, third last line. Both men and women, found it? Both men and women play walking football, but at the moment, the netball teams consist only of women. Exactly. Consist only of women. Both men and women play walking football, but at the moment, the netball teams consist only of women. So they say majority of walking netball players are men. Actually, majority is women. So the answer is... Anji, fine. Is clear? 
good very good uh, e- even if not you are clear if you're not clear until this point iske aage phir ye ho sakta hai ki main isko translate karu yeah most clubs bahut sare clubs arranged social activity social activity arrange karte hain okay but if i do that that's very dangerous you will develop a bad habit of translation so you have to come out of it okay let's go on question number 10 most clubs again the word most right in true false not given these these words are very very important most clubs arrange social activities for their members now look here most clubs arrange social activities for their members true if some clubs arrange others do not or if they say few clubs arrange social activities for their members it's false and if they don't tell us whether most clubs arrange or they don't arrange then it is not given now please come to clubs and social activities and all that uh, i want you to come to third paragraph uh, okay let's read third paragraph the two games are designed to help people to be active or get fit whatever their age and level of fitness in particular they were invented to encourage older men and women to get more exercise to give them a chance to meet other people okay now this is socialized but have they mentioned anything about most clubs then they say regular physical activity helps to maintain energy strength and flexibility you can start gently and do a little each session now have they mentioned most clubs arrange social activities for their members not at all they did not mention of anything about the clubs they say people can meet that is social activity but the clubs are not mentioned whether they arrange or they don't so the answer is not given question number 11 please players are tested regularly underline the word regularly they play like this for regularly they can say rarely if for regularly they say rarely answer is false okay so players are tested regularly to measure changes in their fitness okay now players are tested regularly uh let's go on to the next paragraph second last one and can you see the word players yes. second last paragraph word players many players have given up a sport either through age or injury and can now take it up again they are great ways for people to enjoy a sport they used to play and love and keep active at the same time have they mentioned anything like uh, players are tested regularly to measure changes in their fitness not at all so the answer is not given okay and for true you can write capital t on your answer sheet for false you can write capital f and for and not given you can write ng but still i will advise you to write full words that is even better so here in third paragraph here the sentence which is meant regular physical activity helps to maintain energy strength absolutely but there is nothing about measurement there is nothing about regularity and measurement okay Let's go on question number 12 People who have never played football are encouraged to play walking football Now let's come to third last second last paragraph and we read second last line active at the same time though people who have never played the standard game standard game is standard football uh, as they're talking about walking football so walking football is one type standard game is running football now they will not use the word running football they will say standard game though people who have never played the standard game before are also welcome people are welcome means yes people who have never played football are encouraged for are encouraged they use the word people are welcome are also very welcome so people who have never played football are encouraged they are welcome to play walking football answer is true question number 13 people can take part in active lifestyle team a capital l capital team t capital you can easily find whenever in the question you find any word with capital letter you can easily locate them please focus the question question number 13 people can take part in active lifestyle team session whenever they wish look here whenever they wish means they can come any day and if they say this is only on monday and wednesday 
then it is not whenever they wish right so whenever they wish let's go on last paragraph the local council's active lifestyle team runs sessions to all the council air leisure centers come alone or come alone or with a friend and enjoy a friendly game on monday or saturday afternoon or tuesday or thursday evening now see they said whenever they wish now if somebody comes on on sunday or if somebody comes after that so he will not be entertained so now always remember in true false not given if they use the word whenever they wish and there they give you the timeline monday to wednesday this time to this time answer is going to be false and it could be not given if they don't give any timeline right all clear samajh aa rahi hai mujhe dhoka to nahi de rahe you know dhoka dena kya hota samajh aaye na question number 14 Active lifestyle team intends to start clubs in the future. Now they are planning to start club in the future. Active lifestyle team. Let's read the third last line. After Thursday evening, please follow me. Each session costs three pounds per person, and you don't have to come regularly or at the same time each week. Our aim is. Sorry, just a second. we've made a mistake here question number 13 what what did we find as an answer false no that's why it's important to read till the end please come back i'm reading from here each session costs 3 pounds per person and you don't have to come regularly or at the same time each week so you don't have to come regularly or at the same time each week now come back to the question question number 13 please review your answer just focus this thing uh, yes and you don't have to come regularly or at the same time each week it means you can come whenever you wish to so now sometimes what happens there is a deceptive answer but until you read the next line when you read the next next line then you decide and sometimes you know they give you exact answer and then they write however after however they will write some contradictory statement so the answer to question number 13 is true because they mentioned here and you don't have to come regularly or at the same time each week okay now active lifestyle question number 14 active lifestyle team intends to start clubs in the future so our aim is to set up netball and football clubs as soon as there are enough regular players as soon as there are regular enough players what does that mean in the future absolutely so for question number 14 answer is true that's right بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم لیٹس اسٹارٹ وی گاٹ دس ٹیسٹ اینڈ فسٹ آف آل وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سالو ٹرو فالس ناٹ گیون ناؤ دا فرسٹ تھنگ از یو نیڈ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ وٹ از دا کوشچن ٹائپ دا فرسٹ تھنگ اینڈ سیکنڈ وٹ شوڈ بی یور ٹیکنیک ٹو ڈیل ود دیز کوشچنس ایز آئی آلویز مینشن ان آئلس ریڈنگ وی ہیو ٹو ٹائپس آف کوشچنس one type is questions are uh, and the answers in the passage they are in order i call them type a questions the second type is type b where they are in random order they are scattered across the passage so in this test we will go through both types of questions and you need to see what is the technique how to read the question and after reading the question how to reach the right part of the passage if you reach the right part of the passage and you read that you will find the answer in less than a minute you always waste your time when answer is in another paragraph and you are reading a different paragraph okay so uh, we will learn how to locate the paragraph and then the sentence where there is the answer and if it is type a questions then answers are sequenced in the passage like you will find one answer read on the next answer read on the next answer sometimes same paragraph sometimes different paragraph okay so whenever you practice you should be familiar with the questions identify the question type type a type b and as you go on you will be able to understand how to deal with it so let's start 
we've got this short passage and the title is online roommate finder now roommate imagine you are in toronto you have a room and you need to find a roommate why because you will share the expense with the roommate so online roommate finder like there is an application or a mobile thing or a website where you find a roommate after reading the title of the passage always start with the title of the passage then you come to questions and see okay true false not given type a questions type a means questions and answers are going to be in order question number 1 room available has two beds in circle the word two room available has two beds now listen if the room has two beds answer is true if the room has less than two or more than two beds then the answer is and if they don't tell us about the number of beds then it is not given now the clue word is bed come back to the passage first sentence i have one room available in a large apartment located just off queen and bathurst in toronto the room is fully furnished with a double bed so answer is true well done excellent and you will be double confident when you write wrong answer now try to understand double bed double bed is actually a single bed okay double is the size double is not the number okay so you started it very very badly it's just a confusing one two beds and double bed double bed means one bed for two people that is the size of the bed so double bed is how many beds one bed so answer is false okay now some of you double and two obviously true double and two obviously true okay so be careful with that okay and these type of things they have in ielts reading and these things are quite a lot question number 2 australian in sasha's apartment do you know sasha no sasha is a human name very good okay australian is uh, in sasha's apartment is a musician underline musician if that australian is musician answer is if that australian is not musician some other profession answer is and if they don't tell us whether musician or some other profession then it is so the clue word is sasha look for sasha sasha okay second paragraph about us i am sasha i am canadian and i have been living in this apartment since i was a teen ager i am 23 these two uh, these past two years my best friend has been living here but as she is now moving to europe there is a room available as of october 1 the third room is occupied by simon who is from he works part time in a music shop downtown and is a great drummer now what is drummer drummer is musician if they use the word drummer pianist so all these things are related to music so question number 2 answer is true okay question number 3 sasha does all the clinic in in circle the word all in true false not given these words are very dangerous dangerous means you have to focus them if sasha does all the cleaning answer is true if sasha does half of the cleaning and half of the cleaning is done by the roommate then answer is false, false. and if they don't tell us whether she does half cleaning or full cleaning then it is not given so sasha does all the cleaning in the apartment we read on after drummer we both like keeping the place neat and tidy i actually enjoy cleaning in my spare time and sometimes we do it together as our roommate team we do it together sasha does all the cleaning no this is false because she said we do it together so when they do it together it means she does not do all the cleaning 
uh, they do it together. Answer to question number three is false. Question number four, Sasha likes being in the open air, underline open air. And for open air, if she says, I love to sit in the terrace, terrace means I love to sit in the garden or I really like to sit in the lawn. It's open air. OK, so Sasha likes being in the open air. Let's read on. Uh, so after this together. We read on, I love watching movies, exploring, getting out of the city and into the outdoors and into the outdoors. So she said, I love. I love means Sasha likes. And for open air, what is the word? Outdoors. Outdoors, outdoors and open air, they are synonyms. And in IELTS reading, we always have synonyms. The language of questions and the language of the passage. So more synonyms, you know, in listening and reading, we always have this thing. So the answer is true. I mean, because open air is one of the things she loves. So it's true. Question number five. Room available would be suitable for someone who likes to be quiet. Now, if the room is not noisy, it is calm and quiet. Answer is? True. And if it is noisy, it's not suitable for someone who likes to be quiet, then it is false. So let's read on. Third paragraph. Apartment itself is very large uh, and comes equipped with unlimited Wi-Fi, fully stocked kitchen, cable television, Netflix. The bedroom is a long way from the living room, so it shouldn't disturb you if people come round and beside. It shouldn't disturb you means there will not be any noise, right? So what's the question? The room available would be suitable for someone who likes to be quiet. What is the word for who likes to be quiet? So it shouldn't disturb you. It shouldn't disturb you means you like to be quiet. It shouldn't disturb you if people come round and beside. So bedroom is a long way. Long way means far from. Bedroom is far from the living room. So there is no noise, no disturbance. What is the answer? True. true. Absolutely true. And it's a good idea to write full word true. T-R-U-E, true. Question number six, Sasha thinks her apartment is in the best part of Toronto. Now, if she thinks best part of Toronto, answer is true. If it is worst part, false, otherwise not given. So let's just move on. Best part of Toronto and all that. Not given because uh, if we read on after this, they didn't mention, oh, we also have two cats. Then if you have a pet, then we love having people coming from other countries. But they didn't mention anything that whether it is in the best part of Toronto or worst part. So question number six is not given. Question number seven, Sasha has never had a roommate from Canada. Sasha has never had a roommate from Canada. Means all her roommates were from other countries. She's never had a roommate from Canada. Last paragraph, last two line. Dad said we are cert certainly interested in living with Canadians too. We are very easygoing and open-minded and just hope that our new roommate will be the same. Have they mentioned anything that Sasha has never had a roommate from Canada? Information is not given on this. On what? Sasha has never had a roommate from Canada, so there is no information. That is why answer is not given. Right? Okay. All right. Now, we move on. We've got another passage, smartphone fitness apps. Very interesting. Mobile applications, which are for fitness. All right? So uh, let's see, smartphone fitness apps, and they have labeled A, B, C, D. It means there are four apps. Now we come to the questions. Questions 8 to 14, look at the four reviews of smartphone fitness apps A to D on page 39. For which app are the following statements true? So you have to match the statements with the paragraphs. Uh, for this type of questions, you need your skim reading technique. 
what to do it's a good idea to skim read paragraph a and then come to the questions and go down the list of questions and then the right answer is actually going to click you you will have a feeling that i read about it okay so when you do skim reading you underline important ideas important words important phrases right let's let's do it together option a the first app pacer although they were previously split into pro and free versions now what is that in the past they the application had two versions one is pro and one is free versions pacer's developers now generously includes all the features in one free app now what is it it's a free application what does it mean you don't have to pay you can join it without any charge and all that that means you can spend no money yet use your smartphone's gps capabilities to track your jogging routes underline jogging routes you can track your jogging routes and examine details of your pace underline pace and calories burned okay now we've read it now please come to questions and you will read the questions very carefully underline the clue words question number 8 this app can be used for more than one sport did they mention any sport but you will under underline more than one sport because in any other paragraph they will talk about two games cricket and hockey football and cricket something like this question number 9 you have to pay do you have to pay for this application yeah. now it is free so this is not the answer but underline you have to pay question number 10 this app has well presented visuals visual means graphics visual means images did they talk about any visuals images graphics so this is not but you need to read it carefully yeah. because this will fit somewhere else 11 you do not have to pay for any of the features on this app so generously all the features in the past they had pro and free but now all the features are there question number 11 answer is a and you will do one thing where they have written 11 number cross it because you will not read it second time one question will have one option now you will not read question number 11 and this is how you can manage your time and one paragraph may contain one answer one question two questions three questions and no question as well all right let's go on question number 12 you can pay to download true stories underline pay to download true stories but it's not that paragraph Question number 13 you can get ideas about where to go from other people on this app where to go and other people means people will suggest you people will tell you about other locations and question number 14 this app gives you details of the energy you have used what is the word for energy calories for you have used burned right so question number 14 answer is a now we've done two questions and you will cross 14 as well because we will not read it again so this time we are going to skim read paragraph b and as you skim read keep the questions fresh in mind you've already read the questions so now you will take the questions and look at the paragraph from that point of view okay skim reading paragraph b there there are a wealth of running apps available but b2 is a good one this free app underline free app uh monitors your pace or if you have a wrist or chest based heart rate monitor your beat per minute so underline beat per minute heart rate beat per minute and offers up uh, it's especially curated playlist to give you the perfect music underline playlist and music also uh, for the pace you are running at adding a whole new dimension to your run okay the best bit is when you explode into sprint and the music pounds in your ears so music and all that but there is no question about that uh or if you fancy something different the app also has in app purchases now see that it's not free first they said free but now they say in app purchases including tales of the past what is tale story so you can purchase stories of the past sporting heroes you can listen to while you run now stories question number 12. you can pay what is the word for pay 
इन एप परचेजेस परचेजेस इज पे टू डाउनलोड ट्रू स्टोरीज वट इज द वर्ड फॉर डाउनलोड ट्रू स्टोरीज इंक्लूडिंग टेल्स ऑफ द पास्ट द एप ऑल्सो हैज इन एप परचेजेस एंड इन एप परचेजेस मीन दैट यू कैन डाउनलोड ट्रू स्टोरीज एंड वट इज द वर्ड फॉर ट्रू tales of the past sporting heroes when the tales are of the past sporting heroes it means these are the true tales like if you have a story of any cricketer of your country so that's the true story okay for question number 12 answer is b and unfortunately in such a long paragraph we only found one answer and you can do one thing before you read paragraph c refresh the questions refresh the questions for example question number 8 can be used more than one sport question number 9 uh if you have to pay you can uh, this app can suggest you where to go question number 10 well presented visuals and question number 13 can get ideas about where to go from other people now we come to paragraph c impel is the name of the app if you are serious about the sport you do then you should be serious about impel a smartphone fitness tool go it's one of the best allowing you to track your performance set goals and see daily progress updates if you are ever not sure where to run or cycle you can find user created routes on the app If you are ever not sure where to run or cycle you can find user created routes on the app All right question number 13 well done you can get ideas about where to go from other people on this app or share your own right now uh, question number 13 answer is C does this line ring another bell if you are ever not sure where to run or cycle what is run it's a sport what is cycle it's another sport so how many sports have they mentioned two sports with question eight this app can be used for more than one sport so for more than one sport they use the word run or cycle now please cross eight and cross 13 as well if you have done it all very very cleanly cleanly means actively you don't need to read the last paragraph because last paragraph is d how many questions are left two nine and 10 just write d and move on you don't need to read if you've done it all fine but anyways let's see question number 9 you have to pay if you want this app to suggest where to where you can go and question number 10 this app has well presented visuals so paragraph d there are plenty of gps running apps for smartphone but fast track is an excellent freebie freebie means free of cost although you naturally get more features if you pay for the pro version the free release gets you gps tracking a nicely designed map view nicely designed map view what is it that is question number 10 this app has well presented visual so for question number 10 answer is d now what about 9 you have to pay if you want this app to suggest where you can go exactly it's written although you naturally get more features if you pay for the uh, pro version the free release gets you gps tracking so what is it you have to pay if you want this app to suggest where to go do we have any other idea yeah gps tracking is actually where to go so for question number 9 and question number 10 correct answer is d for doctor okay